Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we are taking down Chapter 8 of Year 3. Jacob's note hinted at a cursed vault being in the Hogwarts library. Find it. Search for the cursed vault. So we're going to have to wait 53. No, 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 we're not. Right, so we're doing it live. Meet your friends in the library and begin your search. You must find the cursed vault. Thank you, Tulip. Right, I think it's going to be in the restricted section, surely. So that's the, the, the bit here is restricted. Spill think. Maybe having a prefect here will keep Madame Pince off our backs. Maybe. Your companions look like they're up to something. I don't want to see anybody up to anything. Right. Penny, Rowan, Bill. So what's it like being Prefect, Bill? Have you given out a lot of house points? Wait, they can give out house points. We mainly take points away as punishment to stop kids from acting like gits. I want to be a Prefect. Then I can be a head boy. Then I can become the youngest professor in the history of Hogwarts. Me, me too. But why would anybody choose me to be Prefect? Come on, Ben, just a little positivity. Shiny, there you are. We've been waiting for you. Thanks for coming. It's good to see so many friendly faces. What can we do to help? My brother thought the next vault was somewhere in the library. So... Really? How do we find it? Looking for clues, cast a spell, or ask Madame Pince. Madame Pince isn't going to tell us because kids aren't supposed to be searching for cursed vaults. Looking for clues, we can probably do, but we could cast a spell like Revelio. Oh my god, it's like, we're in the same mind. I've used Revelio and Reparifage to find hidden things before. Those spells might work here. Just be careful, we don't want Madame Pince to catch us casting spells in the library. That's true. Keep an eye out for any clues to the cursed vaults. And Bill, you see to Madame Pince. Breaking that curse gave me such a rush last year, I can't wait to do it again. Same, Bill. Maybe one of these books will open a secret passage. Too easy. All of my brother's clues are so cryptic. I wonder if he was trying to hide from someone what he knew. Just what are you and your friends up to, Shiny Hunter? Nothing. Appear inside the restricted. I've never been in the restricted section. I wonder, yeah. Stop wondering and just go open it. This should be enough for us to finish it. Oh, we need a little bit more. That's not a one, that's a two or a three. I've got two because we've got one if just in case. Boom. Done. And we've got perfect. Oh, we got 32 energy now as our max because we leveled up. Nice. I found a note. <laughs> and it's in that same code your brother used. Let me have a look. I've explored the entire library. All that's left to search is... Oh, uh, the restricted section. Did I not say that before we searched? The restricted section, of course, is a natural hiding place. That's where they keep all the books on dark magic. I've had dreams and nightmares about reading those books. They say some of those books can jump right off the shelf and bite you in the face. You'd need a specially signed note from a teacher to look at restricted books. Otherwise, we'd be in serious trouble. We'll need a plan. I'll see if Tulip's got any ideas. Tulip! There's no way we'll get a teacher's note to search the restricted section for a cursed vault. Tulip might have an idea. Right, she's in the corridor. Oh, oh it's my ruler again. Look, just ignore her. Just ignore her. Had any good books lately, Hunter? Dun, dun, dun. Excuse me? I saw you in the library. Looks like you've assembled a gang of your own. I suppose you think that's where you'll find the next cursed vault. Denied. We were just studying. Why are you following me around and spying? Are you jealous that Tulip's my friend now? That's a little bit of a low blow. I don't care about you or any of your stupid friends. Do whatever you need to do, Marula. I'll just go talk to my new friend Tulip. Another, another low blow. I'm feeling a little bit harsh today. I told you, she's going to stab you in the back, Hunter. Next time we meet, I'm going to do something far worse. Empty threats. Three for three, Marula. Right, we're off to the corridor. This is Jacob's research room. Oh, it's it's nicely lit now. How come it's so light? 
What have you done? What have you done with the place, Tulip? Be careful, shiny hunter. The ruler is spying in the corridor. I saw her, unfortunately. I hope you didn't tell her anything. No, but she saw us looking for the vault in the library. I think it might be in the restricted section. I sneaked a book of pranks out there once. Nearly blew up in the owlery. One of my finer moments, if I do say so myself. Did you find anything in my brother's research? Honestly, it's such a mess. I'm trying to get everything in some sort of order. You're doing a good job. There are pages scattered all over the room. I'll try to find my brother's notes. Right. I gathered as many of your brother's papers as I could. Oh, there's one over here. Uh, look at this note that it's like Hogwarts, the spell, and there's like a, a beast. <gasps> so the very bottom in the middle, there's what it looks like a Hogwarts with a, a one spell maybe, and underneath Hogwarts, there is what looks like either a dragon or a basilisk. Right? Hmm. Is that, I wonder if that's, that's definitely been put there on purpose, right? Another picture of what looks like Hogwarts. Hmm. I like these little Easter eggs. They've got, they've got, they should put more of these in. So I like it, you guys spot some things, like somebody spotted the Voldemort. Shouldn't have technically looked like he did because that was the Voldemort in Harry Potter. Whereas actually at that age, he may not have looked that way. He wouldn't have got the red eyes. That wasn't an Easter egg though, that was just. <laughs> A massive plot error. Oh, this five might be the last one. No. Uh, we've only got one. One choice in the four. Okay, done. Tulip, I found something. This note must be from Jacob. It says, the book opens the way. Mm. Maybe I was right with the book opening the vault. The book? Wait a second. Last year, inside the cursed vault, we found my brother's broken wand and the book. Oh, the book is what opens the next cursed vault. I almost forgot it because it seemed useless. It must somehow open the next vault. Excellent. Meanwhile, I think I have a solution to our Marula problem. Remember that boy who was helping Marula look for vaults? Barnaby Lee? Yeah, he's certainly not the brightest wizard I've ever met, but he seems nice. Too nice to be working with Marula. He's also strong. Maybe the toughest wizard in our year. On top of that, he knows Marula better than anyone. What are you getting at? You should persuade him to join our course. We could use his help, and it will make it easier to stay one step ahead of Marula. How do you do? How do I do that? I know firsthand how tiresome it gets when Marula is ordering you around all day. I'm sure Barnaby is getting sick of it too. Ooh. Yeah, we thought Barnaby would become a friend because obviously he was in the friends list. Um, and Marula is horrible to everyone. Someone needs to deal with Marula so we can search for the cursed vaults. Ask Barnaby Lee. He may be able to help us. Yeah, he seems cool. Part three, we're meeting Barnaby. Let's have a chat. I like talk missions because they don't require energy. Oh, he's gone back to the, he's gone back to the shrunken look. Barnaby Lee. I smell like a dung bong. Still, I appreciate the warning. I've had more baths since I got hit by that big dung bomb than I've had in my whole life. I still stink. Sorry that happened. Tulip promised me a box of peppermint toads if I talk to you. What do you want? Do you like working for Marula? Seriously. I don't work for her. We're partners. Has she ever let you make a decision? Does she ever share her plans with you? Has she ever thanked you for anything? No. No. Forgot what was the last thing you said? I want you to work with us instead of Marula Barnaby. 
Why do you think I can help you? Mm, because you're powerful. I know how hard it is to find it and enter a curse vault. I've heard you're the most powerful wizard in our year. Are you alright? I'm thinking about your words. I won't boss you around. I won't call you names. I'm not like Marula. I just want your help. I need to find my brother. I like you, Shiny. Great. We should fight. What? I need to prove I'm tough enough to help you. And you need to prove that you're tough enough to be my new partner. Meet me on a training ground. If you beat me in a duel, I'll ditch my ruler and help you enter the next curse vault. I need to practice my moves before I duel the famous Hogwarts Vault Breaker. I'll let you know when it's time to fight. <laughs> I just, see, when he says practice moves, I, I, I just have in my head like, it's like, I'm practicing my moves for my victory. Yes, love it, new duel. We get to duel Barnaby. I'm gonna spend some gems to help him in learning his moves. To get to the part where we really want to be, which is a jewel. Ah, not flying glass. <laughs> I don't want to go to flying glass. I love parts of the chapters where they're either talking or dueling, just because they're free. <laughs> right, we're in the training grounds. Me, V, Barnaby. I like you, Shiny. You're nice. If you beat me in a jewel, I'll know you're tough. And you'll stop working with Marula and help us find the next curse vault. I'll have to think about that. It was your idea. Oh, right. Okay. I'll do my idea then. Let's let's swap sides. I mean, we, we could have just stayed at the ends that we were at. No. Let's do this. It just cost coin to start. 225. I can part ways with that. So he's basically as strong as Bill was. A few few bad hits. If he goes defensive. Oh, we're going, both going to attack. Oh, we are both aggressive. He's so aggro, eventually. For some reason, they don't like defensive moves. <laughs> Nobody does. Right, the pool, so we've got a large reduction in the head. This knocks out like 20. So I'm going straight up to pool, so. A de pool, so and an incendio. And he's dead. Ooh, he's got quite a lot of stamina. High empathy bonus. I'm going to go defensive because I think he's going to get an attack. Yes. And so I get to either throw a vial, wig and potion, episki. Or Petrificus Totalus. Yeah, sure. Pew, 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 pew. Done. We're gonna absolutely smash him. If we get the stun on him as well. Stunned. Ah, oh, we didn't get a stun. Oh, he went defensive. People never go defensive. Oh, he's in the same back. Okay. I, th I, I would have gone Wigan Well Potion if I was you. Mm, I don't want that. It's a heal. Let's get oh, we're both going aggressive. He's going to go sneaky now. Yeah. Had to do it. Right. Now let's go Incendio. Get that double burn on. Next two turns should take him out. Alright, we've got the burn. We'll get that after burn for two turns. I think it's minus 10. Yeah, that's it. This is you go. We, so we don't want him to heal. So if we go sneaky, we win. Ooh, both draw. That might just save him. Does he have a little bit? Of, oh, he just got that plus two saved him. Uh, we're going to have to go aggressive. Try and take him out. Let's go sneaky. Oh, uh, no, we're going to get hit. No. Uh, I don't know why I changed my strategy. The pull so. Oh my god, we if we get hit by another Depulso, we are dead. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Ah, I'm going aggro. Yes, yes, we get the win. Yes, nice. I'm going to hit him with the Depulso. Big hit. That was close at the end. He is strong when he hits, though. Oh my god. Yes. Broke his shoulder. I wonder if we'd have looked like that. What happens if you lose? Do you get to go again? Because I don't think I've lost yet. Let me know if you've lost. I always thought you had to be mean to hurt someone that badly. You alright? Did you break your shoulder? 
I'm fine. A few of us slivering start every day by hurting each other. They say it gets you in the right mindset. Well, you're certainly tough, Barnaby. Will you help me get to the next vault? <laughs> as long as we can celebrate our partnership with a butter beer. Yeah, let's do it. Next time there's a trip to Hogsmeade, let's have a celebratory butter beer. Have a sheet, Shiny. After a good duel, I always like a butter beer. They say it heals bruises and broken bones. And you certainly broke my shoulder. Who says that? Can't remember. Sure, someone probably said it. How did you become friends with Marula? I'm a Slytherin. How else? We have a lot in common. Both of our parents are Death Eaters. Oh. Really? Why are you so surprised? Everyone knows Slytherins have the most interesting childhoods. Maybe I should have been a Slytherin then. Harry Potter, he will definitely be a Slytherin. Amazing enough, Harry Potter. Do you want to talk about what happened to your parents? All right, like, like, that's a little bit, like you're going a little bit too deep. Let's have a beer first. Let's have a butter beer first. You'll probably think my old family's mad. They're like you, and yes. You can tell me, Barnaby. If anyone can relate, it's me. Ooh, we're gonna talk. Yes, let's talk. It's a free mission. <laughs> you don't want to hear about my past, Johnny. You'll think my whole family is mad. Right, I'm gonna nail this. Come on, nothing but greens. Right, you're going to think I'm mad. I'll try not to judge. I'm quick to judge. People say that about me. I'll try not. I try not to judge. I try not to judge. No! <laughs> People say that about me with the green. Ah. One day, I'll get a perfect conversation. It's the dream. Why does Marula hate you? I think she's jealous. We're Quidditch rivals. You'd have to ask her. Honestly, I think... I don't think she's jealous. I think she's just... Maybe one that is... Yeah, I suppose she is jealous. We're not Quidditch rivals. I think she's jealous. Yeah. Yeah! Green. Success. Made him feel better. Thanks for listening, Shiny, but I don't think I can tell you everything about me. Let's just keep talking, by the way. I think you'll see that you can trust me. Do I have the same lines for for him and um, Tulip? Our parents were deaf ears. Must have been that must have been hard. I hope they were punished. Your parents don't define you. I want to say your parents don't define you. I also want to say that must have been hard. I'm not saying I hope they were punished. Your parents don't define you. That must have been hard. Uh, the right, best choice was your parents don't define you. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, we've got three turns to get. We're going to have to get some a green. My dad pushed me to be strong. I'm sure he's proud. Right, that's it, right? My dad was a tree farmer. Eh, eh. Probably, so you'd be safe. I'm sure he's proud. It's gotta be. Yes. Right, that's gonna get us to the second diamond. Now let's make really good friends. You know more about my childhood than anyone at Hogwarts. I just don't know if I should tell you everything. You can tell me everything, Father I think you'll see that we have a lot in common. Without telling you anything about me. I don't have parents that death eat, so I don't think. Just like you know who. Maybe you didn't have a choice. You're better than that. You're supposed to say his name. You're supposed to say his name. <laughs> You're better than that. Maybe you didn't have a choice. Mm. I'm going to say you're better than that. Yes. Neil in the green. I think that puts us... Almost definite as long as we don't hit an X. No, I think we could hit an X and still get that. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not sure what to think. Not at all. Or you just had a hard childhood. I'm not sure what to think. Not at all. I'm going... I mean, that's the X. That's orange. That bottom, bottom screen. You can't see where I'm pointing. But I was going down like that. Yes. Right, that's it. We've won. 
We've completed it with three diamonds past. Thanks for listening, Shiny. It's nice to know there's someone out there like me. I am nothing like you, Barnaby. Like, <laughs> you're Slytherin, I'm Gryffindor. Your parents are Deaf Ears. My parents they probably weren't Deaf Ears. I think we'd have heard about that by now. We both like butterbeer. So similar. I like Barnaby Lee, though. He's one of my favourite characters, I think. I like, Bar I like Barnaby way better than I like Ben. It probably goes... Rowan's my boy, and he comes out with cool jokes. So in terms of the friendship circle, it goes Rowan. And he's so super smart, he solves all my like difficulties. Then, it would probably be Penny. Then... Tulip or Barnaby? Tulip or Barnaby? It's gotta be Barnaby. I just like Barnaby. He's, he's just dead by it. Hello. <laughs> Got hit by a dung bomb. He's just clueless. You really met him? He who must not be named? I saw him. My dad met with him at our house when I was just a little kid. Were you scared? At first, but my, my dad admired him. He told me that if I could become as powerful as you know who, I could do anything. I spent my entire life trying to get as strong as possible, even after my dad was gone. Oh. Well, I know you're strong, and I think you're a good person. I'm glad you're helping us instead of Marula. Is there anything I need to know? The earlier I know what I need to know, the better chance I'll have of knowing it. Is that, is that you? I'll send an owl. I'm more ready to for you, Barnaby. I'm heading to meet Tulip so she can tell me her plan to get into the next vault. There's a little bit of me like, don't tell him because what if he tells Marula? He's probably not the best secret keeper. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room, Shiny Hunter. I have some very exciting news. We're going to meet you in the next episode, I think. Because we want to finish. So that's all the story tasks complete for Chapter 8. All we have left, which we'll probably get into in the next episode, is just the side quest of Rita Skeeter. Who knows what she wants. Okay, well, that's all for this episode. From what I hear, Chapter 8 is the final one that is out at the moment, so we will be waiting on an update. But it gives us time to take a breather, have a little think about who this R character is. Maybe Greet Skeeter will give us a little bit more of a clue to that. Okay, well that's all for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information. That's all from me. See you soon.